Australian Baseball League, little preseason cup runner on first. And look at the double play they turn there. Just beautiful, beautiful turn by Jason Matthews and George Khalil. Think that's his name? Australian Baseball. I'm going to be in Australia beginning of December. I think I'm going to be taking in a Melbourne Aces game because my dear friend Peter Marlin's there. Beautiful turn. Nice. That's something you missed that you never planned on watching. And this is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. Today's episode is brought to you by Mountain Dew. Bup, 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 bup. Let's go to Division II basketball. We had a crazy comeback. Lander is up nine with 46 seconds to go. Catawba is in white and they're down. They put that shot up. They miss. They get the rebound. They out-rebounded Lander 52-41. to 23 offensive boards for Catawba in this game. Highest since 2019. Fouled there. So they get another one. And then they foul. They miss. They miss again. Got to make your free throw. So Catawba's got it now. They're down six with 30 seconds to go. He drives in, dishes it out to the big man who storms down and gets the foul call. Also looks like he hurt himself a little bit. Makes the first one. Okay, now it's a five-point game. The next one makes it. Four-point game. Lander has the inbound, 25 seconds to go, kills some clock. Uh Uh-oh, they steal it, and then he throws it off 12 before touching it while it's out of bounds. Kind of a crazy athletic play. Also, you don't have the best angles and the best replays and, and the best officials, but what do you guys think? What do you think? So he steals the ball, and then before his momentum takes him out of bounds, and it stops the clock, it's just a really smart play, he chucks it off 12, and then does he avoid getting hit? Definitely hits 12's left knee from his, yeah, and then it goes out of bounds. It looks like he might have avoided getting hit to me. What an amazing play. So now they've got the ball, 22 seconds to go. He's going to drive in, put it up. It goes in, and they call the foul on 12. That one seems like a little bit of a soft call. I don't I don't even know if there was contact. He was kind of running with them. Maybe he left his feet. Is that a call? I don't know. Anyway, they miss it. They miss the end one. It goes on the ground. Jump ball. It's going to be Lander's ball. They have the inbound here. They're up two with 16 seconds left. They foul number 21. This is where things get embarrassing. He makes the first one. Okay, they're up three. Then ref gives them the ball, and they have six men on the court. You can see their whole bench, all their coaches yelling. And then Catawba players realize, and then the referees get together because that's a technical If they have it, they don't have replay. The announcers are like, they're asking for replay. We don't have it here. It's Catawba and Lander. Come on now. And they say, yep, that's a technical. They don't really fight it on Lander's side, their coaches. So that's a brutal way to give them two shots. They make both one point game. He misses the shot. Lander has it with 10 seconds, nine seconds, eight seconds, almost, almost bobble it there drives all the way in and then the put back and she knew it i'm out see ya that's all i need to see high five nope i'm just celebrating played that real cool they chuck it in they do get one last shot falls way short what a comeback from the catawba bearcats i think is their name i knew it the whole way let me check my notes catawba catawba indians lander bearcats Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? That's what he's yelling. I've never seen that one be yelled a lot. What the fuck? After you do something, like questioning your own self. Like, I don't know. What the fuck's going on? How did this happen? Misses. What a comeback. Good time. That woman, she was kind of the coolest part of it. As I said earlier, today's episode is brought to you by Mountain Dew. And they've got a message for you. Get off your ass. And with bold flavors and a refreshing citrus kick, Mountain Dew will get you off your ass and have you feeling like you're on an actual mountain. A mountain where the weather is always perfect, your friends are ready to hang, and a day of epic proportions awaits. 
The mountain is calling and you should answer. So grab your friends, grab an ice cold Mountain Dew, wherever refreshing beverages are sold and do the do. Back to the action. Georgetown and Fordham. Fordham's up 24 to three. Georgetown's looking to get on the board. Fordham hasn't allowed a touchdown in this game, but does that, is that? Jonathan Alexander with a remarkable one-handed grab, but ref says, nah, you did not stay in bounds. Only one foot in college, but it was out of bounds. Good call. So that would have been the first touchdown Fordham scores or Fordham allows. Then later on, intercepted by 30. Oh, he pulls his hamstring. He dishes it to 14. And then a little rugby action, you know. Then they score the touchdown. Fordham has now returned three interceptions for touchdowns in this season. And they did not allow a touchdown in this game. First time Fordham did not allow a touchdown in a game since they shut out Stonehill 2023. Fordham's won 10 of their last 12 meetings versus Georgetown. So get got, Georgetown. To round it out, we're going to the Thai Fight League where the, they do a little dance. That's Chilpatch. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this guy is super black. He's got a mustache. Now, super black, 30 years old, I think. And the other guy is 23. Yes, yeah, super black's in the white shorts. And it's round two. They're trading blows, trading blows, and having fun. Ooh, kicking, punching. What happens is the dude in the white shorts, super black, his shoulder's going to pop out. I'm not sure when it pops out because right here, does, he threw a, threw a right punch there. What happens is Chopatch, the younger guy, he kind of see, oh, right, hey, your shoulder, your shoulder, your shoulder. And he's like, oh, okay, thanks, man. Did not take advantage of the situation. Let him know. He didn't seem to notice. He just goes to the rope and casually pops it back in. So, oh, he's kind of touching it. He's like, oh, your shoulder, shoulder. He's like, yeah, it's out. Hold on one second. If you don't, want to watch this turn your eyes off you're gonna see his shoulder pop in some people get wheezy about that i kind of kind of satisfies me it's like oh right there it's like cracking my knuckles which i enjoy but some people don't like that anyway super black goes on to win he's very excited about it i think he's also like thanks dog like we're friends i respect you you respect me you didn't take advantage of that you let me fix my arm and then i used it to beat you and you're fine with it because you want to lose fair and square. You know, that's what life's all about. That's what love's all about. I'm not saying they're in love. They love each other's craft. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. Leave a comment. Leave a, re leave a review, I guess. Like a, it's like a podcast and you like rate by stars. Just comment how many stars you gave this episode. Um, three being the worst and five being the best. Thanks.